What's up, guy and girl players of World of Warcraft? Taro here, bringing you the second video of my herbalism gold making series, Deep Home. For more free wild guides, check out my website at tarowildguides.com. In this video, I'll show you how to make massive amounts of gold with herbalism in Deep Home. This is part of my herbalism gold making series, so check my website for other zones and for leveling herbalism to 525. To get started, you'll need to have 475 herbalism and be at least level 82 along with flying. You'll also want to download the add-ons Gatherer or Gathermate 2 routes and have an herb bag or a mostly empty inventory. Also make sure you have one regular bag to collect all your items from killing mobs and that they're mostly empty. Lastly, be repaired, have some food water, blare some music, and have fun. To get to Deep Home, just take the port in your faction's major city. Once in Deep Home, start on the route I put on my map or unhide the route I've given you with my custom routes add-on and hide the other routes. To get these preloaded routes, check the video I have linked at the end or my website. Okay, so I'm going to be using this Deep Home short route for 30 minutes in hopes of giving you an idea of what you can expect to herb up. I really like this route whether competition is high or low or whatever. It's the small length one, but it's pretty unconventional compared to most routes people are using so even when competition was high in this video, it didn't seem to phase me the least bit. It's kind of a weird route that isn't very predictable, but it hits so many nodes through so many other standard routes you really throw off the competition, leaving them wondering where the hell you came from. My other two routes for here are like that as well. For this one, I fly around sticking to the route pretty much, but do some extra turning when I get to the Heart Blossom and Cinder Bloom mother load up here in the Northwest. When there's no competition, I like to really focus on this area, shorting this route even further. It's pretty much node after node after node and consistently awesome no matter how long you herb for. As a druid, it makes it all the more hacks since you don't need to dismount or anything and can just fly around stopping and going without any mob killing or mounting that wastes time. If you aren't a druid but are level 85, mobs shouldn't pull very easily since the range from the herb nodes is usually pretty decent and not near any mobs. As always though, remember if you do have to fight a mob, CC it, loot the node, and then kill it so you don't have to worry about anyone jacking your stuff. Other classes like hunters and rogues can CC, loot, and slightly run away while feigning death or vanishing to lose aggro. Be creative with your class since others have different options for losing aggro easily. If you're geared, quickly killing the mobs is of course another option. When farming anything the time of the day and day of the week can also matter when trying to avoid competition. Early morning or very late at night, Sunday through Thursday seem to be pretty low competition times and days but your server may vary. Even with competition, my routes still work well since you have a few to choose from and these particular deep home routes are designed with high competition in mind. Sometimes raid times can be low comp as well, which is usually 7pm to 10pm Tuesday and Wednesday. So if you don't get in a spot in this week's raid or are waiting for a spot, try farming a little and see how well you do. Well it looks like my 30 minutes are up, so let's see how I did. I was able to get a nice 158 heart blossom, 81 cinder bloom, and a whopping 67 volatile life. I'll put everything on the auction house for 12 hours, undercutting any competition. It took about 4 hours to sell everything and my total for the 30 minute session was 779 gold or 1559 gold per hour. Keep in mind these are prices for my server so to see how yours would have done, check the auction house and plug in those prices. The best classes to use for farming are Paladin and Druid, DKs with the movement talent are also good along with other classes for different reasons like Vanish from a Rogue or Feign Death from a Hunter. If you have any questions, ask away in the comments. Well that's it for the third video of my herbalism gold making series Deep Home and I hope you liked it. Please subscribe and visit tarawildguides.com for more free wild guides and news. Thanks for watching. Now go herb up some bank or something.